Hello, everybody. I'm here with the lovely Ruthie Henshaw, and I hear there's something very exciting coming up that you, you can actually talk to me about. I haven't been told what exactly. Ah, yes. Well, I'm opening up uh, Ruthie Henshaw's Cast, which is the Centre for Acting and Stage Technique. And it's going to be a three-year, um, 18 to uh, 22 year olds. I feel that kids are not being prepared for the business that it is now. Um, there is so much more that they need to be trained for and you know they need to have a sort of bag of tricks that that is more than singing, dancing and acting. Um, and I you know Covid really kicked this all off for me because I saw how um, we weren't looked after how, uh, you know, showbiz was literally left to figure our own way through and so many people left the business or um, had to do whatever they could to put food in their kids' mouths because the government had no help for us. Yeah. Um, and that was devastating to see. And I think there is so much more to a training to get into theatre than just the singing, dancing and acting. Mm. So for me, we're gonna, it's uh, going to be a small place. We're only going to take maximum 25 people mm. and they will, be, uh, they will be prepared for life as well. Well, with you have so much stage experience, they're going to be in very, very good hands. But obviously as well, you've got so many different types of mediums like even just me now you know this is TikTok, youtube social media um so that's incredible and that's going to help so many people as well you know you're going to change a lot of lives through that as well but for you um that from a training side what's so important about um being trained because i don't think people realize it's not just get up there sing and dance you know some people are lucky but others not so much it's many no's isn't it before the yes oh my goodness yes and you've got to have another passion and it's, we're not, you know, we spend a lot of time out of work. Yeah. You know, what, whatever you are seeing, and you can look at my career and go, oh my God, she's never out of work. She, of course she is. Mm. Of course I am. Of course I spend time out of work. Um, and th there has to be, th th these young people have to be equipped for everything now, mm. and they're not equipped. Yeah. And... You know, there are some wonderful colleges out there that no disrespect, but I feel that there is so much more we need to equip them with. Mm. And so uh, that's really where I'm coming from. And we are, um, you know, we go live uh, um, on the 14th of November. Um, that's when we're announcing. And uh, so, and from there, it, it, our first intake will be next September. Wow, that's incredible. And of course, you've also got many other skills. You've done presenting on Magic FM. You've hosted Trafalgar Square West End Live, which I've been to several times. And you always do it with so much grace. Honestly, you must be exhausted after these huge scale events. And then you're, you know, at West End stage by night. So how do you maintain that um, buzzing kind of positive personality that we always see you in? I'm lucky that I love what I do. Um, I think that 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 basically is everything you know I, I I am passionate about it and I'm never bored by it and I get excited by it still and if I hear something news coming in or I've you know been to see theatre or it just really does it for me and I'm lucky that it does yeah um, you know I have my down times um, I think that anybody living in this modern world life is up and down um, but I happen to be in a business with lots of really fun lovely people yeah. who you can be completely honest with so I'm you know thank goodness <laughs> absolutely